summertime in the Philippines, and this is BGC Bonifacio Global City. I'm in Uptown BGC today, and Uptown is, I'd say, one of three main areas. You got Uptown, you got High Street, and you got Forgetown, and they're all pretty much within walking distance. I mean, there's a couple spots you can throw on top of that. There's uh, the Fort Strip, and a few places sort of here and there, but that's your main three. This is the Uptown Parade next to the Uptown Mall. This is where Club Zylo is. Oh wait, Club Zylo. Speaking of Zylo, we were there last week. Take a look at it. Here in Bonifacio Global City, and we are checking out the palace. And sometimes they say Zylo at the palace, but the palace is really a series of bars that includes a couple of nightclubs, premier nightclubs, we're talking Zylo, we're talking Revel. Tonight we're going to take a look at both those clubs. We're going to take a look at Zylo and we're going to take a look at Revel. And Revel's a little bit of a different vibe than Zylo. Both very nice, both very upscale. You'll see what I mean. Zylo is the bomb. The lighting's a little weird though. It kind of gets hard to navigate through here sometimes. I'm like, whoa, I'm going to hit my head on something. Zylo is a total high roller experience. A big table like this, they'll seat 10 people, cost you about 35,000 pesos on a weekend. That's about 600 US dollars. And even if you split it 10 ways, you're gonna drop 60 bucks for a night of drinking and partying and dancing in a spot like this. You can only get top shelf call liquor here and those bottles aren't cheap. A bottle of Belvedere will run you about 6,000 pesos for about 120 US bucks. And that bottle of champagne, that was a 10,000 peso bottle. So 240 bucks for that. A bottle of Patron, I think ran about 9,000 pesos. Remember, you can order anything you want in this spot and they're just gonna deduct it from your 35,000 peso consumable. Now don't get me wrong, you can get a table in here for 50,000 pesos. Closer to the dance floor you get, a VIP section, whatever you want. But all of that booze and food and your mixers is deducted from what you pay to reserve that table for the night. I like these upper terrace tables because they tend to be a little bigger and they have that railing and you know what that means, the girls get up and dance. Shout out to my super generous channel member bro. He hooked up the whole night. Solid. Also, at the Palace, you've got Revel. And Revel's kind of like uh, the little brother baller club to Zylo. Still high end, still cost you a pretty penny, still get a nice table, but it's a little more social. It's a bit smaller, it's a bit more intimate, it's easier to mingle. Depending on the kind of vibe you like, this might be the spot for you. If you go with a smaller crew, or you just want to kind of get in and mingle around and try to connect, You'll have a better shot of doing that here at Revel rather than Zylo. I know it's loud, it's loud. This is the island. The island in Uptown BGC. This is BGC Uptown Parade. And as you can see, there's a pool bar and a bunch of bars. The Heineken bar, there's a rum bar. And of course, where I am tonight, Revel. And Revel is one of the two top hot spot like high roller clubs in BGC. And we are like across the pool from Zylo. So it's Zylo and it's Revel. And the difference between Zylo and Revel is size and intimacy. Because you're gonna pay a lot in both. Which is why you always see my old ass at Royal. 
Revel has a mezzanine level, which offers you a great view of the club. You can totally see what's going on downstairs. And you can also kind of uh, get up there and break in and sit down and, well, see who's uh, chilling. The couches on the main floor definitely get pretty crowded and packed in there. It's a wonderful opportunity to hang loose, socialize, and get to meet people that are also chilling and partying at the club. Similar in pricing to Zylo, but not quite as steep. A 10-person table in a spot like this will cost you about 30,000 pesos, or about 550 US bucks during the weekend, but during the week, you can score a table for 15K. Summertime, Philippines, exceptionally hot. Coming from the gym this morning, little barren guy gym. And it's like, it's like a, an oven in there. Like weight training is tough enough. Weight training when it's just unbelievably hot adds a whole nother level, a whole nother dimension to your fitness and conditioning. I just pound water through the whole workout. I drank this whole thing. I'm about to fill it up again. Whew. I guess that's one good thing about uh, the heat and the perspiration is that you just are constantly pounding water, which is essential for me because of the uh, alcohol poisoning that I consistently subject myself to here. But uh, hey, it's Manila, baby. I always say you gotta take the good with the not so good. Just a little while ago, I published a top 20 Poblacion bar kind of video. I'm not saying those are the best of the best bars in town. They're the best bars that I like to go to. Anyway, Handlebar was not on the list. And Handlebar is one of the oldest expat bars in Manila. I think they've been here since like 1970. It's kind of like a biker bar here, the big bike. Anyway, Handlebar is a good spot. It's cheap, it's chill. You play pool there, you can sit outside. And inside scoop is, it's been bought out. It's been bought out by, I think I heard Taiwanese company which means it's probably closing and there's probably gonna be like a KTV going in there, like this year. Back in BGC, Bonifacio Global City, at one of my favorite restaurants, Easy Tiger. I know, it's a Thai restaurant and a mall. It's not that exciting, but food's good. I think it's reasonably priced and it's in condo land. BGC is Gondo land. Two entrees will run you about 550 pesos, that's 10 US bucks. Throw in an appetizer, knock it up to 750 pesos, that's about 13 US dollars. OMG, literally. Happy actually to see that there's a Greek restaurant in the Uptown Mall. Definitely have to check that out. At my bank today, Surprisingly, they exchanged bills for me without looking at my ID and bank account. When I first came to the Philippines, I used to go into the bank and be like, hey, can you, you know, exchange a thousand for a couple hundreds and some fifties? And they were like, not unless you have a bank account. So they've either changed that policy or she just made a pass for me, I don't know. $16 for Taster's Choice, no thanks. This is the first time in a decade I've seen Fritos in the Philippines. And it's not even good Fritos. It's honey barbecue, whatever. And look at these ingredients. Yellow number five, blue number one, red 40, all poison, poison. Hope you enjoyed the quick look at a couple of these premier nightclubs here in Metro Manila. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, maybe subscribe or uh, consider joining the channel as a member. Also take a look at one or two of these other playlists where I feature a ton of other content the different types of bars, nightclubs, and restaurants that you're going to find here in fabulous Metro Manila.